Hello coders, I am back with another project that is inventory management system. So before proceeding with this project, this is my channel that is Lazy Coder where I have uploaded multiple projects like college management system, online grocery shopping project, blood bank management, online quiz system, hospital management, school management and many more. You can check this out on my channel and before proceeding with inventory management system please subscribe to my channel so that it will motivate me to upload more projects so let's go to the IMS IMS is the short form of inventory management system so this is the dashboard of the applications I will discuss it with you in the few minutes and there is only one user in this project that is admin only who will manage the stocks so let's begin from the start and log out from the system and log in again. So once you will launch the website, so this page will open and it will ask you the credentials, admin credentials. These credentials I have created already. So I have put there and log in again. So after login, this page will open. So this is the dashboard of the admin. Okay. So if we talk about this one button, so it's saying that new incoming stocks means that if I want to add any quantity uh, stocks, stocks means the items only. Here, this is based on the means I am taking the example of the cloth system, cloth store you can say. So where I have added the sweater as a one item. Sherwani, Kurta, Pants, Blazer, Jeans, Shirt, Shorts, T-Shirt and Jacket. So these are the stocks you can say. And the numbers you are saying here is 160, right? So this is the quantity. And the same 159 for the Sherwani. This means that in these applications we have a 160 sweater and 151 shirt. Okay, so if I will click on this button, means that we have to add one stocks so we will discuss this so let's first discuss the dashboard only and the new outgoing stocks so suppose if i want to sell this jeans then we will go to this button okay and we have discussed these things and this uh, you can say section is showing the bills suppose if i will purchase anything so we it will be shown here only so it will shown here like recent purchases and these items have added by me already and i have purchased something so that's why we can see here and all the bills will also be generated so we will discuss it uh, once i will proceed with the left side bar okay so let's discuss it from the inventory add a new so let's go to this this means that items suppose on the home you can see that uh, we have the jacket t-shirt shorts so I will add one more inventory uh, you can see the product uh, which will be coat let's say coat is there so give the name as coat and uh, let's say quantity as one one, 151 so click on add to inventory it's saying that a stock has been created successfully which means that item has been added so here pagination system is also there so you can see quote is added and the stock name is quote current stock in inventory will be 151 okay and here we can so it redirects me to the inventory list if you will click on the inventory list it will show you to these items only okay so let's click on the second page and we can edit the details or the delete some stocks i will show you by deleting one stock so let's uh, see on the home whether our quote is added or not you can see here now we can see the code so whenever we are adding any item product you can say uh, this one bar will be created here with the uh, quantity number okay so let's uh, edit it like uh, suppose 
150 is there okay so click on the update and check whether it's updated you can see it is updated and same will be reflected on the uh, bar also so you can see 150 quote is showing here right now I will show you with the by deleting sweater so here you can say sweater is 160 is there so we will delete it so go here and delete this stock means delete this item so it's saying that are you sure you want to delete this stock so yes delete and now you can see there is no any sweater is present here and not on the inventory list as well you will not found any sweater okay and the search bar this is also there suppose I will search search okay click on the search so here it's saying that t-shirt is there and shirt is there so search functionality is also there now I will discuss the purchases so in purchase we have new incoming stock and the purchases list here purchases means that uh, this see in this inventory list we have added the quote as a 150 item right and suppose if this 150 item is sold and I want to add one more or you can say 100 more uh, quote in this application then in that case we will not go to that uh, inventory and then we will update that so we can do this by a here like a new incoming stocks okay so let's go there and we will update means we will buy 10 more code okay so let's go there so here you can see that uh, sub it is asking me supplier choose some supplier so supplier is the person who will deliver me this product it's not like that we will go to some other shop and then we will buy so first we have to register uh, some suppliers who will supply me the quote item right so for that we have one more section that is supplier who will supply me the items so I have added one more uh, one supplier earlier so that is Sumit Kumar and his contact number and the GST number so we can add the new suppliers as well by going there like add new suppliers like and put the his details like name phone number email address and the GST number okay and put the GST number in this format only otherwise it will not let you add the suppliers and if you will not add the suppliers you will not able to purchase any item right okay so I have already created that at uh, one supplier that is Sumit Kumar who will supply me the quote so let's go to the purchase select the Sumit Kumar as a supplier click on next now it's showing that supplier details is already coming here okay and it's saying the product details here and asking me that uh, that which product you want to buy from this supplier so we have added the quote here right so we will buy that item only and uh, like here you do not uh, you can't add any new items first you have to add here only and then you can choose select that items here okay so here I have added quote so I will add select that and here we have to put the price per item suppose I have uh, price of one quote is thousand and quantity I want to buy is 10 so here price is automatically updated so that is 10,000 that is 1,000 into uh, uh, 10 okay and suppose if I want to uh, buy you can say from this supplier like one more item so we will click here add more and select some stock like pants and the same way we can give the price and quantity but for now I will give you the examples of quote only so click here in this minus sign it will uh, minus the uh, you can say row so just click here and now I have filled all the required details so I will just click on the purchase 
and uh, we know that we have 150 quote in these applications so that will be increased to 160 so click on add to purchase so it will redirect you to this page it's saying that purchased item has been successfully registered successfully and it's saying that purchase bill number five and the bill is generated for the code and quantity as 10 and rate is and a thousand and amount is 10,000 and we can print this as well like if we will click on the print this pop-up is came so we can print it and we can go back and go to the home and let's check whether the quote is increased to 160 or not so you we can see from here quote uh, it was coming right and now it is came here and we can check the inventory list as well and it's saying that 160 is there right and for that uh, bill is also generated so recent purchases you can go okay and select the give go to this view bill and we can see the bill anytime okay and so we can see say that uh, this item is in the decreasing order so whichever will be the uh, recent purchase will be shown in the first okay so i think uh, i have covered this one purchase and go to the purchase list and we can see the list also view the bill and delete the bill also suppose if i want to delete uh, this one 900 one and this one also and go to the home and now you can see all those three uh, two were gone right and now let's discuss the sales part so sales uh, is like that uh, if uh, uh, quote is 160 is there right now i want to sell this uh, 10 item that uh, 10 you can say quantity for the quote that i bought just now i want to sell that okay so that uh, I want if I want to do that then we have to come to this section okay so now go to the new outgoing stocks here uh, we will sell this to some customers right so we have to fill the details of the customers or you can say the uh, retail uh, or the wholesale or you can say the some small shops we can do uh, sell to sell the items to them also so we have to fill the details like XYZ uh, company okay fill the details and email ID and put the GST numbers of that uh, small shop you can say select the code that which product I want to sell and suppose I bought uh, 1000 per item right and so but I want to make profit so I will sell this in 1200 for one item right but I want to sell 10 item right so 2000 will be the profit and if I want to sell one more item then we can click here and then we can add the items and price for them as well but now I will go to this only and when I will click to the add to sales then 160 will be dropped to 150 right so click on the add to sales and the sold item bills has been generated successfully so bills will be generated for the purchase and sales both okay now quote you can say 10 quantity 1200 and we can print this as well okay so we go to the home now again quote came to 150 and the bills got generated here so sales will be in this uh, column and the purchase will be come in this column okay and we can view the bills as well and uh, here if we go to the sales order here also we can view the bills and delete the bills okay and one more thing is there like uh, suppose suppose we have 150 quote is there okay and if we try to sell uh, 160 bill uh, let's say suppose if I want to sell this one 1200 and uh, my my application have 150 items only and if we try to sell 
151 it will not let me sell it's saying that it's displaying some error like uh, exceeded current stock available okay so it's saying that we can't sell the items right because we don't have that number or the quantity okay so we can't sell it so it automatically reduced the 149 okay so that is the one good things you can say and the last thing is the about sections where I have all uh, mentioned all the features here here we, the admin page okay I think I have discussed all the features so thank you for watching and please subscribe to the lazy coder it will motivate me to upload more projects yeah thank you